In this video, we're going to look at how to record cues and playbacks onto the FlexS lighting consoles. First of all, you need to start by building some lighting that you want to record. To do this, push up the faders of some lights. Doing this, I have selected these lights and opened some tabs to allow me to control the light. I can change what lights get controlled by these tabs by changing the selection using the buttons below the faders. With those channels turned on and selected, I can for example go into the colour tab and make them blue. Once I'm happy with the look I've created on stage, I can record this onto a playback fader. To do this, I press the record button and my playbacks will then flash. I can then go in and press one of the flashing faders to store it to there. Remember, if you want to store it onto page 25 to 48, you can press the page button. I can then press that playback button to finish recording. To see the playback I've just recorded, I need to take the faders down and double press clear. I can then go into playbacks by using the channels or playbacks function button, and I can see that the LED under the fader that I just recorded it to is lit. I can then push that fader up, and the lights will move and change the colour to where they were when I recorded that playback. FlexS consoles also have a master playback. This can be used for a more theatrical cue list setup. To record onto this, again, we need to set up a scene of lighting that we want to store. So we can go into channels and again, let's put up our lights. We can then put them into a position and we can put them into a color. Once we're happy with the lighting we've created, we can record that to the master playback. In the same way, we press record and then we press the flashing master playback button. To record your second scene, you can then change the lights that are on. So maybe I want them off, and then some more lights on, and this time in that colour there. Once you're happy with your lighting, you can then record this as your second cue by pressing record and pressing the master playback button again. You can then repeat this process many times for different cues that you may want to record. At any time, you can go into the cues window by pressing the cue list icon and see the cues that you've recorded. So to record scene three, for example, I might want it to be a blackout. So I can turn my lights off and then press record and the playback button in the same way. I can now see my three cues in the cue list window. To play back that cue list, again, I need to double press that clear button and then I can put that master playback up and my cues will start to play through. I can then use the go button to advance through these cues to see the different lighting looks that I've stored. As you record cues, the console will give some default fade times that will affect the transition from cue to cue. You are able to go in and change these fade times by tapping in the fade times cell in the cue list window and using the encoders to adjust the fade times. You can also set fade times in the recording process. So I might want to put uh, these lights on here, put them in position and in a colour. Once I'm happy with what I've stored, I can press record. But before pressing the master playback button, again my encoders have become fade times. So I can use these to set a fade time. And then I can press the master playback button. If I go back to my cue list window, I can see that Q4 has now been stored with the fade time that I just set. Once you've got cues recorded, you may want to change them. So for example, let's go into cue 2 on the console. This is our second cue that we recorded and maybe we want to add in that light there in that position there. To add that into cue 2, we can simply just press the update button and then press the master playback button. If we now take that playback fader down and push it back up and then go into Q2, we can see that it's added in that extra light to Q2. If I'm in Q2, as I am now, I may want to insert a cue between Q2 and Q3. This is where we use something called point cues. So maybe I want to change my lights on stage, so I want them to go out and I want that one that's currently on to go blue. I can now record that by pressing record, but I now need to define the cue number. So I can now press the Z key and using the on-screen keypad, type in the cue number. So I'm going to put 2.5. Once you type the cue number in, you can then press the master playback button. 
In the queue list window, we can then see it's recorded a Q2.5. If I double press clear to go back to Q2 and then press the go button to advance into Q2.5, we can see that queue that we've just added in. You are able to define a specific queue number to two decimal places. At the end of the row of each queue, there's a little settings button. Pressing that and it gives you several options for each specific queue. So you can change whether it may be an auto queue, for example. Details of all of this are in the manual.